Rightio, I've had to skip ahead a little bit. I've already taken the exhaust pipes out and I've unbolted the starter motor and I've got the tail shaft out. I'll show you all of that. There's the exhaust pipes out there and the tail shaft sitting right next to it. Now, the only real problem I had was these clips. These top clips from the catalytic converters, they're way up underneath the engine there and they were really, really hard to get at. All right, so the next step is to get the starter motor out. I've already unbolted it. I'll show you that in just a sec. Okay, this is what we're looking at now. So this is the tunnel. Oh, we've got the tower shaft out, heat shroud, exhaust pipes are out. Um, that's the yoke on the back of the gearbox. So I've still got to undo this mounting all the way along here. And obviously the bolts, we have bolts onto the back of the bell housing. I've taken a couple of them out, but they were the starter motor ones. Well, some of them were. So uh, I've got wiring out. I've still got a plug here to get out, actually. Let's get this one out. Um, that goes up like that. I'll pull that one out so that one's out. Right, and I've already unplugged this one. I'll show you what I had trouble with. Uh, see that plug up there? That's the plug where the uh, oxygen sensors from the catalytic converters plug in. Well, on this side anyway. Well, on the other side, oh, you can't even see it. It's, it's, it's up there. See it? You can just see it. All right. It's, it's a little hard to get at, I have to say. Anyway, so they're out. So I can get at everything now. So I've still got... Um, what do we got? I took this bung off the inspection port. So you can see in there the torque converter. That's where are we? Torque converter is up in there. Is bolted on here to the ring gear. And the way to get at those bolts is from the other side. And the only place you can do that is where that starter motor is. So we've got to pull the starter motor out and then get in through that hole to uh, undo the bolts on the ring gear. Now I've undone the starter motor and there was a heat shield on here. Well, I've took, take that, taken that off. But I can't seem to get the bloody thing to come out. Like it's all unbolted and everything. Now, there's just not enough room to push it back or something. I don't know. Maybe I can twist it. Oh. I know, I just got to get it to go backwards more so I can get it out of this hole. So that's the next challenge. And once I've done that, I can undo the bolts from the ring gear. Uh, I've still got these cooling lines, which are just there. Got that little bolt. You can see here I've already undone the linkage for the gears. Right, and any other plug that I could find, I've undone all of those. So it's just... Those cooling lines, the bolts for the ring gear, then the bell housing bolts, and then um, these bolts here, I'll just take this the whole mount off. It's only four bolts. They look like 15 mil, I'd say. And then the whole thing should just drop out, probably on my head. So here we go. All right. Okay. So what my plan is, this... Uh, big cable here which goes up to this, well, this from the battery essentially um, I'm gonna see if I can undo that off the back and it looks like I can get at it uh, from actually from under here okay so it's a 12 mil bolt on this thing and I can get the spanner onto it over the top of this cross member you can't see what I'm doing but that's all right, I can't see it'll do it either. It's a, a, a nut, a 12 volt nut that's securing the cable to the back of the solenoid on the starter motor. All right. <laughs> okay, I got it loose. Actually, you know what? Just by loosening that's giving me a lot more movement. Ah, still not enough though. I can only think to myself, this is going to be fun to put back. Because I actually can't see what I'm doing. Okay, there's the nut coming off. Nut is off. Yeah, it's all written in braille, the whole thing. There's our nut. Oh, 
We got it. We got him. And what do we got here? Some sort of clip. Now that I've got the starter motor out, I still have to undo that little wee bolt there to take off this plastic. It's like a some sort of plastic shield. Okay, well that cover out of the way and the starter motor out of the way. Now you can clearly see into the cavity and you can just see one of the bolts there that bolt the torque converter onto the back of this ring gear. So what I'll do now is with a flat blade screwdriver via this hole, I will turn the motor over bitsy bitsy at a time and get each bolt as it comes around and undo it. So it's not a 15 then. Okay. Let me go and get something bigger. <laughs> 18 mil if you're interested. Let's see if I can crack these. Not bad. I wonder if I can get this tool in there. Yeah, should be able to. Should be able to get that on there. Yep. That's one out. Actually, with the tool there, you can actually see because there's light on it now. And we'll just. Keep rotating that until we get to the next one. Wash, rinse, repeat. There's either four, three, four, I'm going to say three actually. I reckon there's three of these bolts. There's usually an odd number, three or five. Sometimes there's four, but in this case, when I say sometimes, I'm talking about all different makes and models of cars as well, you know. A little bit further. And now if I put my tool back up in there, there's no way this will undo it by itself, but um, you can see the next bolt's in line there. So we'll just get onto it with this breaker bar again because they're really tight. So I don't know what the torque setting is, but it must be high, reasonably high. I'll have to look that up for when I put that back. Alright, now, unless I'm very much mistaken, that should be it. That's it. The torque converter already slid back into the bell housing of its own free will. Lovely, that's done. Now, cooling lines. That's going to require a bit of thought. I don't know what I'm going to do with them after I've undone them from this side. Alright, just to make it fun. I was having a look at this, uh, where I unplugged that, remember what I, s I took that off a few minutes ago? Well, I was looking at the cable and it's it's actually bolted on here with a bracket and a 10mm bolt. Alright, these are the, uh, the cooling pipes where it goes into the radiator and those aluminium pipes were connected to those a minute ago. I got them out <laughs> at the expense of making a bloody big mess underneath the car. The amount of oil that came out of those two pipes was incredible. But anyway, they're out of the road now. <laughs> Jesus. Alrighty, I'm up to a critical stage. So everything's undone, the wires are off. All the bolts that I can get out are out around the bell housing. Uh, I can't get at the others because they're around the top. I'll need to lower it down a little bit first. 
So what we're going to do now is just uh, undo these bolts for this cross member. And I've got the, uh, the back of the gear, or the entire gearbox really, and the motor assembly is supported on this jack with these blocks of wood for right now. So I'm just going to undo these, and then I'm going to lower the box down gently, uh, again carefully, and um, then we'll have to get a bit creative then with long extensions from this end and see if I can get up on those bolts right up in there. Well, there you go, it only come down that far. But I can see now, and I can show it to you. Now we can get straight up over the top of the gearbox and get at those bolts that we previously could not see or get at. All right, how are we going to do this? Okay, I'll get you to control the back half and I'll take the weight, of, I'll pop it out and take the weight of the front. Yeah. And we'll just roll it back, bring the jack all the way down, yeah, and then slide sort of... it off the jack onto the ground. Nice. Okay, so you just sort of control the back of the box and the jack. There we go. There we go. Yep. There we go. Crap. That's what we wanted. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. It's in the tunnel still. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> push, push that torque converter back. Yeah, I've got the torque converter. Okay, so I'll, so bring I'll, the jack down. I'll lower it down a little bit. Coming down slowly. Yeah. It'd be better if it was on the fucking jack, actually. Mm. That's right, just give me the jack a little easier. We've got to slide it off the jack to get out. I know that, but we're going to take it down. I don't want to have to no. balance it sideways. That's right, I've got, I've got the balance sideways. Whoops, we've still got some tubes attached up here. Uh, I often get surprised by these things. Oh, they've got tubes and shit coming off everywhere. Fucking, how am I supposed to get that out? Got him. Okay, we're good. Right. You bring the jack all the way down. <laughs> there goes my hat again. <laughs> okay, so bringing the jack down, is it? Yep. Balanced on the jack? Yeah. Okay, you got that in? Yeah, that's right. That's it, we're all the way down. Okay. It's a heavy box, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not fucking light, that's for sure. Alright, so. The joys of taking it out on the driveway, mm. or in a shed or whatever it is we're in, mm. is that uh, we don't have a lot of options to help lift it up mm. and get it off the jack. Alright, so what if I get another jack, because it's down lower now, Yeah. and I put the other jack underneath here and lift it up yeah. with that jack. That'll work. We'll try that out. <laughs> Theoretically one end of a thing. Keep an eye on the pan. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that should be high enough. Oh, look at that, that's easy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Coming down. Yep. You alright? Yeah. Still good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, hold on there for a sec. That's all the way down. Okay. okay, so I'm just going to drop the back of it yep. onto the concrete. Yep, and we'll just slide this back. Okay, beautiful. We're on the ground. Yeah, now you're just going to try and get out from underneath the car. That's the fun part, yeah. It'll fit out here. Yeah, if you lift, if you lift the back, then it'll tilt the front down. I don't know about with the grass there, but... Right on. Box is out. <laughs>